Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So there is a series that I used to do when I first started the channel that is called 50 Unexpected Bolos. And basically what I would do is I would scour eBay for solds of 50 unexpected bolos and it would take me hours. And I was like, the other night, I'm like, I really wanna do one of those videos. And I was like, I have my Facebook group and I'm sharing bolos all the time. Items that I am on eBay searching for so that I can post in the Facebook group to share with you guys to help me learn and to help you learn. And I was like, I know that they're bolos when I post them, but I don't always go back and check to see what they actually sold for. And I was like, and I'm sure a lot of people miss some of those. So you know what I did? I pulled 50 of them from my Facebook group and I'm gonna share them with you guys. And there are some good bolos. Um, I was reflecting back and I've actually, I'm gonna do a few of these videos and I want you guys to tell me what you think. Um, I know a lot of you may not be in my Facebook group. If you're not, definitely down in the description, there's a link, definitely go and join and check it out. But um, for those of you that are, I'm sure like me, you click on it, check it out when I create the post and then you never go back to see what it actually sold for. So let's see what those items actually sold for. And um, I'm sure you don't see all of them anyway because I'm posting daily. So um, let's go check out those bolos, 50 unexpected bolos. All right. Let me get my screen share up. And I wonder what these three dots are. Hmm, that must be new. I need to check that out. Um, I know StreamYard has been adding some stuff. I think it was StreamYard. Okay, uh, the first item, you guys ready? And actually when I posted this one, I it was only at like 30 some dollars. And I was like, I'm surprised this isn't more. And there's a guy in the Facebook group and he's really, really knowledgeable on toys. But my first thought was, I have sold a saddle like that for like 12 bucks. I know that these saddles sell individually um, for decent money, bread and butter. So I personally probably would have sold these items individually. And I was looking at this as a reseller lot. Um, and that's exactly what he said you know, probably somebody's gonna buy this and part it out and resell it. It's probably not for the collector. And I can't remember why he said that, but if you guys go into my Facebook group, you can look for this post and he left um, a comment with some information. So it ended up actually selling for $78.77 with 50 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So it's a vintage lot of 70s Marks, Gabriel, Tonto, Butch, Carson, Citibank, car lot of accessories. So the next item, okay. So this is a huge, hugely, we're gonna use the word hugely controversial subject, Beanie Babies. And, you know, you see the posts of the ones that have sold for millions of dollars. And I don't know what's going on <laughs> in this picture right here, but um, I probably would have cropped that out. But anyhow, uh, Beanie Babies individually, it, it's they don't sell, okay? Now, to the right person, you know, at flea markets and stuff like that, you might be able to get 50 cents, a dollar, garage sales. But this is a huge lot of 76. And I was actually pretty surprised that this was up to $81.57. Um, I don't know if some of the older ones you might be able to get a little bit more for individually, like they'd be good bread and butter items. I have sold the Beanie Babies that are Christmas and they jingle when you shake them. They're like little rattles um, with bells or something. Those do pretty well. Those are a great bread and butter beanie baby and they sell pretty quickly. Um, but just your standard um, beanies, I don't know. You're not going to get, I, I'm surprised these went for $81 plus shipping. But that's just my thought on it. What do you guys think? Put your comments down in the comment section, please. Love to hear what you guys have to say about beanie babies because everybody feels differently about beanie babies. The next item is super, super cool. It's this vintage 1972 Japan 10 battery Batmobile, guys. 
Look at this. How cool is that? It sold for $510 and the buyer paid shipping. It's even got some rust. And there you have it. How cool is that? That is cool. The next item is this two-headed troll. Definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for these. And I did a video back when I first started on troll dolls to be on the lookout for, but it's a really old video. So you would have to go into my YouTube channel and search trolls to find it. But this sold for $73.64 with 46 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Campfire Marshmallows tin. And I have a video on the five top tins to be on the lookout for. So definitely go check at that out. But marshmallow tins are really, really popular. And they are definitely a bolo. This one sold for $127.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Odd Og game. And it looks like a frog, I think. Is that a frog? Odd og. Um, yeah, it's a frog. And this sold for $136.50. And I'm not sure why shipping says $75, but um, that's what it says. And it's still sold. So uh, the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this on air um, sign or light. It's for like a radio station. It's super, super cool. Um, I can see why this sold for a lot of money. This is probably going to be a really hard item to find, but I thought it was cool. It sold for $787.77 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is very cool. These are vintage paper mache turkeys, turkey figures. How cool is that? And yeah, paper mache. Let me see if I can get you another picture here. I'm going to move through these quickly because there are 50, but I want you to see these photos. This sold for $450.03, 71 bids, and the buyer paid the shipping. Now, the shipping was pretty low, so I'm, I'm going to say that uh, the seller probably insured that. Let's see what they started it at. They started this auction at $35. I bet they were super excited. And you can see like some decent feedback. So eight unique bidders probably definitely got paid for. The next item are these Patty Play Pal doll shoes. Now tell me, how would you guys have sold these? Would you have sold these in a lot like this person? Or would you have sold these separately? Let me know in the comments. And I do that a lot when I post in the Facebook group. I will ask you guys, how would you have done this? And I don't know why they only have two photos. Um, but they sold for $265 with 60 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this little doll. And you can see here, um, she is very, very little. I don't think she's a sleepy eye one where they blink. Just an itty bitty thing. Look at that. She looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, antique all bisque and it says Strobel and Wilkin. So I don't know if that's just like a really uh, good popular brand, hard to find. Um, right here, it's marked on the head. And this sold for $365, 62 bids, buyer paid shipping. I don't know if I would have even have looked twice at this doll. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, keep your eyes peeled and check the back of the head. The neck is another area. Um, yeah. What would you guys have done? Would you have picked this up or walked past it? The next item that sold is this vintage rare Catherine home dinner plate. It's red and white Lotus flower. And I don't see any markings, so I don't know how to identify Catherine Holm. If you do, please comment below. This sold for $175 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this rare, um, the engine display. It says six engines, thimble, drome, babe, B. They're little engines, thimble, drome, no clue. But this sold for $356 
and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage uh, Florenza brooch earrings uh, set, and it says Amber. And actually, a member of my Facebook group sent me this, and I shared it with you guys. And you guys are welcome to send me your bolos by um, Messenger. If you have an auction that has bids and it's a bolo, definitely send me that link and I will get it shared for you guys. This gets you exposure for your item and you could possibly sell it to somebody in the group. Um, I have had it happen before. But this item sold for $112.50. The next item is... This Disneyland paper brochet, brochet, brochure from 1955. And it says information for your visit to the Magic Kingdom. And this sold for $129.99. And I think this may have been a member of the group that sent me this one because this is not an auction. And I don't typically share items unless they're auction style because I don't know. Um, if it was a completed transaction or not, or if it's just showing up in the sold. So I think this was a member of the group, but not 100% sure. The next item that sold is mine. Um, so this is a Possible Dreams Flights of Fancy Holiday Over the Heartland Balloon Works. So Possible Dreams, I have sold this brand before, but I picked this up at a thrift store for $10. It did only get one bid. But um, definitely a bolo. And there are different ones that have this. Um, it's like a thing that hangs and then it propels around. It's really, really neat. But I paid $10 for it at a thrift store and it sold for $124.99. So I do share some of my bolos from time to time if they are auctions. And I will share people from the groups bolos if they send them to me through Messenger. So definitely take advantage of that perk and go down below and join the Facebook group. The next item is this Napco Spaghetti Santa. And this right here around the, the rim, that they, I think that's what they're calling spaghetti, just FYI. But this one sold for $378.75 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a planter. And I looked these up and the prices were kind of all over the place, but this one, for some reason, I don't know what made it different, went for a lot of money. The next item that sold are these Ray-Ban Cat Eye Mother of Pearl sunglasses. New old stock from 1958. And these are awesome. Um, I kind of wish I would have bought them. They're so cool. They probably wouldn't have looked good on me. But they look really cool in this picture. And I really, really wish I would have got them. Uh, they sold for $215.50 in the buyer paid shipping. I actually thought these were going to go for a lot more. The next item that sold is this Blurp Balls. It's new old stock. It's a toy. I love selling new old stock items, but new old stock toys is even funner. Sold for $157.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I definitely would have grabbed that. So this is the Starburst Salad Dessert Plates, and there are five of them. And this sold for $208. And the buyer paid the shipping. Um, I was hoping to get a close-up of the back for you guys. Um, that's what it looks like. So I think the Starburst pattern might be helping sell that. So I picked up a trucker hat that looked identical to this, only mine was in much rougher condition. And when I was doing my research, I found this auction and I shared it in the Facebook group. This one sold for $360. And if you watch my what solds, you will get to see what mine sold for in really bad condition. Um, but this one was in, it, it, I mean, the foam looks good. The sides look good. This one sold for $360. So I did not get that much for mine. But mine, I paid $2 for it in a state sale. So I was really happy with what I got for it. And I'll let you guys see that in my what sold. The next item are these vintage 1969 Woodstock tickets, guys. A food purchase ticket from Woodstock. And there's a photo here. So I don't... And, and it comes with a photo of the food tent. Now, I don't know how unless it was... I guess it could have been like... 
stored with that photo, who knows, but this sold for $140 with 55 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is from a member of my Facebook group. They sent me this and they're like, check this out. And I can't remember the backstory. I think they bought it with a bulk purchase of jewelry, if I remember correctly. But this sold for $1,526. Is that amazing or what? Yeah. Could you imagine finding this? And it is sterling silver. It's a hinged bracelet. It says vintage Chinese hallmarked enameled sterling silver hinged bangle bracelet. And you can see right here, I think this is the hallmark. I never would have guessed if I would have saw that, that it was worth that kind of money. It, it's amazing. Amazing to me. All right. The next item that sold is the Simpsons Christmas ornament, the Krusty Burger, and the nuclear power plant. And these are ornaments. And they sold for $154.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage new old stock men's underwear, boxer shorts, mid-century. And that advertisement is a hoot. Looks like a caveman, kind of. But look how big the underwear he's holding up are. Double wear, Samson crotch underwear. In every pair of Samson crotch underwear. I don't know. It's kind of weird, right? Uh, yeah, it's even got a certificate. I would have listed these separately, and I would have listed these high, but they ended up going for $233.49, 40 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I have talked about this before, and some of you just think that I'm crazy, but I have seen these be a bolo over and over and over again. And the material of these do snag pretty easily. So when I look at these, I'm going to say these were probably never worn. I can't say for sure because it's not my listing, but the condition of these are, I mean, usually when things are washed and worn, you can tell, especially with these underwear. Um, these sold for $77. They are the second skinned satin briefs. Um, they're a big money bolo. So if you guys see them, I don't recommend selling old, like used underwear, but if they're new old stock, I would definitely sell new old stock underwear. So, but the second skin satin are definitely something to be on the lookout for. I think you have to list them under, see, this is just listed under panties. Um, they do have it under vintage. Um, and hmm, private auction, unworn, excellent condition. So they, I don't know. I know you can't sell used underwear, I guess is my point. So maybe if it's under vintage and new old stock, I'm not sure. Okay. So this is a Bradford Christmas tree topper and it is super cool and it works and it sold for $395 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage college creamery Brooklyn or Brookings, South Dakota milk bottle, one quart. You guys, it's an old vintage milk bottle and it sold for $2,247.22. The next item are these vintage ceramic turkeys made in Japan and they sold for $127 with 21 bids. This is what it looks like on the bottom, Turkey by Andrea. Sadek, made in Japan. The next item that sold is this vintage Christmas elf with lantern. And uh, I don't think it's a blow mold. I think it's just plastic, hard plastic from the looks of it. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, it says plastic elf. And it sold for $120.50 and it's 24 inches tall and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, number one, they should have beefed up this title, vintage action figure. These are called um, street sharks and they did a good job down here putting street sharks. I don't know why they didn't put it in the title. Um, would this have sold for more had they put it in the title? I don't know because as far as I know, eBay only searches title, it doesn't search description unless you tell it to. Now I know on Mercari and Poshmark, it searches description also, which I love. 
Um, but this did end up selling for $420. I'm thinking maybe a reseller bought this and they're going to part these out because some of these can go for big bucks individually. And again, if you go to my Facebook group and find this listing, um, there were a lot of comments um, with some toy collectors and people that know about toys that put some info in there. So you can go check that out. The next item that sold is these vintage Wagner flocked, oh gosh, Kunstler Schultz. I don't know, but they're made in Germany. They're flocked. They look like they're little ducks. They are adorable. Hand work, West Germany. Super cool. Sold for $83.51. I definitely would have picked those up. The next item is this vintage lizard fishing lure. It sold for $137.49 and it had 56 bids, buyer paid shipping. I would pick this up if I could get it for the right price. Anything new old stock, I definitely pick up. And I'm going to guess that's new old stock. Maybe it's just new with the original box. The next item that sold is this Transformer G2 Devastator Constructions KB Exclusive 1992. This guy sold for $370. And it looks like he's got his accessories, which I'm sure helps bring the price up. 31 bids and free shipping on that one. The next item is this large German 15 inch majestic black stallion pull toy vintage. This is cool. And it sold for $515 with 50 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is mine. And I picked this up, I believe at a garage sale and it actually sat in a tote <laughs> waiting to be listed. But when I went to list it, it had no head. Um, the head was actually loose and I, I just put off listing it and you can see the heads loose. And I just disclosed that. And I found out that this goes with the Rampage movie and I have done well with other Rampage movie toys. And I looked this up and I could not believe the, the solds, the comps. I was super excited. And again, I just disclosed that the head was loose and it still sold for $102.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Vantage, Vantage, this Vantage, Vantage hand sewn quilt. And it's 81 inches by 65 inches. And it's just a quilt. And these hand sewn quilts do really good. And you can see it looks like it's got a stain right there. So it's not in great condition and it's still sold for $180.50 in the buyer paid shipping. This is really a fun one. Um, so it's like a needlepoint purse. Somebody probably made it, I would think. And I would have walked right past this probably. And this sold for $105 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Barbie senior prom dress. I have actually sold this dress loose. Um, and it was a bolo. Um, mine was more of a bread and butter bolo, but I did not have the original packaging and I did not have the shoes um, or the advertisement. But new old stock, this sold for $541 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Disney Polly Pocket Beauty and the Beast. And I am surprised that this did not sell for more because it is Polly Pocket. It is Beauty and the Beast, and it looks like it's probably, does it say complete? Yes, complete. And it only sold for $78. So I'm a little surprised by that, but that is a super cool bolo. 55 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage gum. Yes, I said gum. So it's Beeman's Pepsin Gum from, and it says sealed World War II era with the box. I have a whole video on vintage gum. You guys would be amazed. You should definitely go check out that video. It's one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. It's on vintage gum. And you would be surprised how big of a market there is for collectors of gum. So go check that out. This sold for $630 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage tiny Tonka Senko fastening systems van. It's a little van. 
and it sold for $502.86 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is just confusing. Um, actually, what is for sale is this sewing machine right here. Not this big tree that is definitely a bolo, but the sewing machine. And this sewing machine sold for $961 with 79 bids and the buyer paid shipping. To me, that tree should not be in the background. What do you guys think? Um, yeah. The next item are these Santa knee hugger pixie elves. And I've never seen the Santa. I'm guessing this guy in the middle is probably what made this go for more. But the little elves, I definitely pick these up whenever I see them. Most of the time, they're a decent bread and butter item. But um, this was a lot of five and they sold for $160.50 with free shipping. And if you guys want to check out my bolo category video, I have a couple that I did on Christmas items. This guy is crazy. I've never seen him before. Vintage 1980 Clash of the Titans. I put that in the post on Facebook. I'm like, I have no idea who this guy is, but he is big money. He sold for $610 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is My Pet Monster. Definitely be on the lookout for this guy. If he's got the handcuffs, he's worth a little more. He sold for $360 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this G1 Sweet Scoop, super rare, My Little Pony. This pony with the ice cream cone on her behind sold for $692.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage plastic blow mold candy Christmas tree garland. And I believe a member of the group sent me this one. And this sold for $92. Uh, 34 bids, free shipping. The next item, I love this one because it is so weird to me. Vintage Zover Hall of Fame gym 50 pound weight pair with bar. Look how weird these are. Have you guys ever seen such a thing? Unreal. And it looks like it comes with the bar. So I did not see that. And the shipping is free. And 85 bids sold for $8,000. $8,000, you guys. That probably wasn't cheap to um, ship. 14 unique bidders. And they started the auction at a dollar. And I will tell you, that is super brave starting the auction at a dollar with free shipping on something that weighs that much and is that big. The next item are these um, 1990 Hulk Hogan wrestlers. Um, they're the Buddies Plush Toy Tonka. So it's two of them. And they sold for $202.50 with 55 bids. Okay, this video is 28 minutes long. Ah, that's super long for me. Um, but you got 50 big money bolos. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, if you're in my Facebook group, do you like this idea? If you're not in my Facebook group, this is basically 50 unexpected bolos that you've never seen. If you're in the group, I'm sure you missed a bunch of these because it's hard to catch everything. And it's kind of nice to see what the items ended up selling for. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.